everyone has an earthly father and an eternal father who is in heaven. In an ideal world, every father would embody the character and actions of the heavenly father. Likewise, every mother would perfectly reflect the love and the nurture of God. Many parents fall far short of this, but God never fails in his fatherly care of his children. He is the perfect father. He nurtures us and lovingly gives us the nature of his son. As we seek him with our whole hearts, he is the perfect father and the perfect example. And he is the father from whom every father on earth derives its name. Praise be to the God and father who created us for himself. Promises. But if we serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15. And this is the desire of my heart. And I pray it's the desire of everybody's heart that our lives, our household would serve the Lord, the true living God. Amen. So they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. Acts 16, 31. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice. And now I am sure dwells in you as well. 2 Timothy 1.5 Everyone who has been fathered by God does not practice sin because God's seed resides in him and thus he is not able to sin because he has been fathered by God. 1 John 3.9 Pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. That's James 1.27. From now on, you are not strangers and people who are not citizens. You are citizens together with those who belong to God. You belong in God's family. Ephesians 2.19. He helps orphans and widows and he loves foreigners and gives them food and clothes. That's Deuteronomy 10.18. But it is not shame to suffer for being Christians. Praise God for the privilege of being in Christ's family and being called by his wonderful name. Thank you, Lord. And that's 1 Peter 4, 16. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoptions as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. That's Romans 8, 15 through 16. Father, you are my heavenly father. You have not given me a spirit of slavery that leads to fear, but you adopted me into your family. You created me to be your child, forming me in my mother's womb. What a great love you have for me. Before I was born, you had great plans for my life. Thank you, Father for accepting me into your family. Today, I turn away from sin and choose to serve you as my heavenly father and follow your son, Jesus. I bless my own family. I give them for ways they did not exemplify your heart for me. Forgive me for not doing my part to have a family that honors you. Make things right in our relationships. Yes, Lord, yes, please, Lord. Heal us and help us to be the family you want us to be. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for the gift of family. 